Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new and just coming across this video, my name is Ashley, and I would love to have you stick around and subscribe to my channel. I am a homeschooling mom of four, but I am also a personal trainer, and I share a ton of fitness knowledge and tips and tricks videos with you guys while keeping it honest and real and I also share the majority of our homeschooling journey here on YouTube in hopes to encourage other families looking at this method of schooling. I every now and then like to sprinkle in a fun video like a favorites video or a clothing video. I just put up a fall clothing haul and try on my very first one ever so that was stepping way outside my comfort zone so I hope you guys like that video but that is what you're gonna find here on my channel so if you enjoy that type of content I would love to have you stick around so it is a beautiful fall Sunday morning and we are going to the later service at church so I'm just enjoying my coffee it's the pumpkin spice um, K cups from Trader Joe's they're my favorite and we're almost to October already so I needed to film this favorites video. So just like last month in August, I asked you guys what you thought about doing kind of a, um, like categories for what I'm going to be sharing in my favorites videos. So someone suggested adding in homeschool to that list of categories. So I went ahead and did that. So in this video, I'm going to tell you my favorite thing I found for homeschooling this last month, my favorite thing I've been wearing, my favorite thing I've been watching, my favorite thing I've been using, my favorite thing I've been reading, and my favorite place I've been shopping. So we're gonna get started. We're just gonna jump right in. All of the links for everything that I show in this video will be down in the description box below so you guys can find these things with ease if you're looking for them. So the first thing that I have to show you guys is this magnetic calendar. And this of course is, I need to close my slider because my neighbor's dog is barking. Um, anyways, this calendar, I got it off of Amazon. It is a magnetic calendar and it has so many great things on here where your kids can change the date, they can adjust the weather, um, it's great practice for months and seasons, and it's magnetic, so it's just really, really cute. Um, I ordered it off of Amazon, like I said, it was $20, and my youngest daughter loves it, and even like my older kids are wanting to change the, the calendar. So this was a great find. I wanted something where she could just review the seasons and the weather, and um, kind of position the date herself on here. We used to do that like in preschool um, in her little journal things that she was doing, but we've kind of gotten away from it. So I wanted to bring this back for her to practice and I love it. So my next category is what I've been wearing. And if you watched my fall try on haul, I showed you a lot of things that I'm going to be wearing. It's not quite cool enough to bust out the sweaters yet, but I have got to say that this leopard t-shirt, which I try on in that video and show you guys how I style it that I ordered off of Amazon is my favorite. I have worn this a couple of times and I just love it. I feel like I need to order another one because I'm going to wear it so much. It's going to get worn out quickly. Um, but I love this shirt. There's endless style possibilities possibilities with that. So this is my favorite thing that I have been wearing. My next category is watching. What have I been watching? And to be honest, I do not watch a ton of Netflix. <laughs> um, so, but I do enjoy watching like comedies on there with my husband and we have been dying laughing. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me post like me actually laughing in the background and I sound ridiculous. Um, his name is Sebastian. I cannot pronounce his last name. I will type it across the screen right here. He is a clean comedian. I've shared with you guys before, I love comedians, but I am immediately turned off when every other word is an F-bomb. It's just not, it's not that it, that I'm like so righteous that I can't handle a curse word. It's that I just don't like it. It doesn't, it doesn't make it funnier to me, if that makes sense. So I appreciate people who are funny because they're funny. If that, you know, are you catching my drift? So he is hilarious, 
hilarious. I cannot emphasize it enough. If you want to laugh, watch him. He's on Netflix. Um, the next category is something that I have been using and it is in this box. I saved the box to show you guys. So this is the Freedom Queen Rose Quartz uh, face roller. It says Jade Roller on the front and it comes in this like super fancy box. Basically, it's to like roll your face to help with like swelling and your lymphatic system and just it's basically like a face massage. It's very relaxing. So I like doing this at night before I go to bed. I'm really trying to take better care of my skin as I'm getting older and I really love this. Plus it's really pretty and cute and it was only about $15 um, and I got it off of Amazon. So it's linked down for you guys as well. I feel like it has made a difference in my skin. Um, the next category I've got is what I've been reading and I actually have two things to show you guys. So if you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting about every morning with something that is jumping off the pages from this book, The Life-Giving Parent by Clay and Sally Clarkson, into my heart. I have read many of her other books, The Life-Giving Table. I listen to her podcast. But you know, sometimes like you read a book or you hear about a book and you're like, great, that's a great book. But then you're like going through some of those like seasons where a book just is like speaking into your soul. That's this book for me. I don't care. I wish I would have read it when my kids were younger and I would have read it again and again and again and again because this is a book that you can never tire from reading. So if you need some encouragement, biblical encouragement for parenting even if you're not a homeschooler this book is for you i cannot recommend it enough i am loving it two of my friends are reading it with me and we're talking about it as kind of like our homeschool mom bible study but we're reading the book instead of actually you know just reading a book of the bible i cannot recommend this book enough there's very few books that i feel like are transformational this is one of them so um, I've been loving this book I am almost done with it because I am reading through it so fast but I will save it and I will continue to read it and I am NOT someone who reads books twice I probably will this one so get this if you if you're feeling any kind of down and out unsure need encouragement have you know going through a difficult parenting season it will encourage you and bless you I cannot recommend it enough the next thing I have to show you is reading. Um, this is a book called What Should Danny Do? Now this is the school day version, but there is another version that I have also linked for you guys. The author of this book was so sweet to send this book to me. Um, and they even signed it right here and um, wrote a little note to my kids. So it is eight stories in one book and my kids love this, even though it says school day, which is kind of funny because they're all homeschooled. And, but they, you know, it's funny for them to read a story about school. And basically what it is, is Danny makes choices and the book presents you with choices. And like I said, they have another one that is not school day, um, but Danny gets to choose. And depending on what Danny's choices leads to where you go next in the story. And so this is a great book for teaching your kids and letting them see that when they decide things, there are consequences or something might happen. There's reaction to our choices. You know, I, I love this book. I cannot recommend it enough. My kids read it again and again and again. We've actually had it for a, quite a few months, um, but recently I've just found it like in my boys' room and then in my youngest room. And so they, they go and take it off the shelf of our homeschool bookshelf and everyone's reading it again. So I wanted to share it with you guys. If you've got kids under the age of 10, I would say, great book great book to to read with them or have them read to you and the last category i have is shopping and i want to share cup she swimwear with you guys this is not sponsored they're not paying me to say this but they did send me three bathing suits but the funny thing is, is I had already ordered from Cupshe before, so I already knew that the quality was great. So I got three bathing suits of my choice, um, 
and they sent them to me to try on and share with you guys if I enjoyed them, which I do. So if you've never ordered from Cup She, the prices are amazing and the quality is really, really good. They have all different types of swimwear from something you might wear on a vacation with your husband alone, all the way down to going to the community pool with your children. There's a bathing suit for everybody every body style and I guarantee you you will find something that you like now I will have the links to the three bathing suits that I chose down in the description box and I am also going to do the unthinkable and try them on and show them to you guys now I want you to know that when I did this try on for these bathing suits I did not go and get a spray tan I did not go on a five-day juice cleanse this is just me putting on a bathing suit and I like to keep it real on my channel so keep your comments if they're going to be mean to yourself. I'm just going to say it. I will block you <laughs> um, really quick. I'm, I've already felt nervous about that, but you know, I think if more real images were out there of what someone who works out every day looks like, but isn't like a fitness model, I think that women would feel a lot better about themselves. So that's my spiel on that. Now, Cup she comes in these adorable like Hawaiian type um, bags and it says live life on the beach so they're really cute. If you guys don't know we are going on a cruise and so I'm starting to buy all the things for the cruise um, and, um, and like start all of that because it's a super expensive vacation combined with needing to buy things like dresses and uh, formal nights and da 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 da. And so I start early. That's like, I told you guys that in my traveling with kids video, um, money saving tip, plan ahead. So got my swimwear taken care of thanks to cup sheet. So I'm gonna show you guys my, my three that I chose. So the first one that I have here is a high-waisted um, color block bikini. So these are the bottoms and they are very, very flattering. I am a size medium, size in pants, size six, and I got a large. So in this one, I would size up. You guys will see in the try-on because I'm gonna show the try-on at the end of the video. Um, and then this is the top. So um, I'm definitely not a large top, but <laughs> this worked for me. And it is very, very, very cute, very flattering. I love the block detail of it. The quality is great. The stitching along is like really cute. It's just a really cute bathing suit and I can't wear, wait to wear it on vacation. And I will have these linked in the description box for you guys so that you can, um, shop these exact bathing suits easy easily if you want to um the next bathing suit that i have to show you is so cute i love this one this is a one piece and it is a forest green and it has like this ruffle detail here and then it has these ruffle sleeves and this the bathing suits all come with um like liners in there but you can take them out if you want and you can see that it's kind of like a ribbed bathing suit so it is really cute and this one i did get a size medium because it's a one piece and um, I'm really glad that I did a large would be too big for me, but this color is everything. I love this dark forest green color um, The the sides do come up a little bit higher which you'll see um, When I try it on for you guys, but I still really love it and can't wait to wear it the last bathing suit that I got is right here i actually already wore this one i will post a picture for you guys right here um but it's a mix and match bathing suit i got the bottoms of these also actually this is you yeah this is a large so it's like these leaf print bottoms and then this really pretty bright orange um top it crisscrosses over the back and it ties in the back so this i like um bikini bathing suit tops for for my body style as more of like an athletic build to um to be kind of like sports bra type tops um i find that those make me feel the best so um it's really cute and i love the mix and match print of it so super super thank you to cup she for sending me those bathing suits i'm going to be 
wearing them my whole cruise long and I can't wait I can't wait it's really far away but I still can't wait um so now I'm gonna roll the try on portion of the video but as I said in the beginning all of this stuff is linked down in the description box the cup she bathing suits and everything else um, that I have to show you guys let me know what your favorite bathing suit is after you see the try on haul down in the comments below I would love to hear from you guys as long as you're being nice be kind. I am a human being and I do have feelings. <laughs> um, so anyways, I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this favorites video. Give me a thumbs up before you go. It is a free way to help my channel and I will see you guys in my next one really soon. Bye. This is bathing suit number one that cup she um, sent me and I will have all these linked down below for you guys. I love the high-waisted bottoms of this suit combined with the color block on the top. I think that it's really, really cute and pretty flattering for the mom. I also really like that this top, top is just one piece. It's tight-fitted. There's no clasp in the back. So I really, really love this um, bathing suit. This next one I totally love i love the ruffle detail of the bathing suit top as well as the ruffle that goes across the sleeve it's a like i think you guys can see that it's kind of like a ribbed pattern and it's pretty high cut so you know one pieces can also be um flattering and really cute so i really love this and i love the darker color of this suit. So the last suit that cup she um, sent me is this like mixed and matched um, top. I really love this top you guys. It laces up in the back which I wish I could show you but I'm not that good. Um, but it's like a crisscross back. You guys will see it on the model and then it has these um, printed bottoms which I really like they're kind of a mid-rise so they're not high-waisted like the other ones which I think that left like a little line um, but they're not low cut which is just not a flattering cut on me but I love this top because it's kind of like a sports bra top and I like the lace up of it I did size up in this um, bathing suit and I'm glad that I did so if you are gonna shop the links that are in the description box you might want to do that as well I would recommend sizing up in this one the other two were true to size so this one is a large the other two were a medium so I really like this one I think it's fun the quality is really good and I feel supported and like it's just a really cute mix and match bathing suit so I was excited about this one